Um, he's already on the ban list. Cassidy and Elise Siver for the Cassidy, three. Cassidy, Elise, and Siver. Uh, I would that we've probably seen come prioritize Cassidy and Siver. Okay. But I was going to choose two. Um, I don't think Cog would ban either, though. Be happy to get one of the two, regardless. I mean, as your first pick, yeah, you're definitely. Wow, really? So uh, I was gonna have the spiel and then like make a bet, and then I was gonna win the bet, but you won the bet. Congratulations! You got a high uh, five. You give it to me anyway. Yes. Cassidy does come through. Okay, so, so Elise nice. up for first pick. Want to see if they go for anything else instead? Are those the two ones I pick? I'm just making sure. Here. Yeah, yeah, you got that right. <laughs> so LeBlanc actually is the one they care about here. So Zamfira doesn't get that target at all. The Cassidy ban supersedes mm. the LeBlanc ban here. Uh, Complexity Red needs something new to go for. Golden Glue did not do well with Kha'Zix against it, but of course doesn't have it now. Yeah. It won't matter either way. He also doesn't have Gragas, so that's True. pretty... Um, all three games have been banned. Yeah, that's a pretty decent pick against her. LeBlanc, like, hard matchup to go into here. Um, you know, Oriana can play more defensively. Yasuo, oh. uh, should have remembered, both these teams, one direction, they always go, always yep. forward, like going offensive. Now we get to look for all the displacement abilities. Who are they going to combo this with? Thresh is a great pick because he's got two. He's got two. And, you know, one of them's AoE. He can get multiple people with that. Let's see if he can do it. See what he can lock in here for his team. Although, I guess it's got to be really hard to have Flay work on multiple people because the hitbox is very long. By the time you get to, like, one of the other champions, the first one's fallen back down already. Like, getting to with Flay has got to be difficult. So, the thing with Yasuo, um, a lot of the times you want to delay your ultimate because you want to let, like, the Vi ulti or something run its duration. Sure. And then you want to stack it effectively. Yeah. With with Flay, you just jump right on it as soon as you, whatever. As soon as you see it. So, okay. it's kind of more uh, in tune with what uh, Yasuo is going to be reacting to. Like, he'll immediately jump on it and... Uh, it, it won't matter. As long as the two champions are close, yeah. then uh, it should be a double knockup. Well, Vi's going to come through. Ziploc wants range. that. Did you know? Did you know? There you go. So Vi's going to come through. Pick it up anyway. Even with Elise on the table, the jungler we normally see so so sought after. Like, I, I think it's like more of a deny knowing that you want Vi with yeah. uh, Yasuo. Caitlyn's still coming through here. These AD carries, if they're not getting Sivir, taking Caitlyn a heck of a lot. And I think he was going to get that one. Oh, yeah. He's happy about that, actually. Yeah. Before this whole Sivir craze came about, that would be one of his most highly prized uh, mm -hmm. AD carries. So he's definitely Ooh. definitely happy about that one. There's multiple options from the jungle to go for. Yeah. Even if you take away Vi, this is, uh, they might be overdoing the Yasuo synergy. synergy here, but. They need Draven. That's plenty right there. They need Draven for AD carry. Um, Stand aside works. Draven, who else could do it as an AD carry? I think he's the only one. Nobody else has not Ash, a not displacement. I don't think Urgot works. No. Hmm, that's interesting. Because I was told to think of it as not other knockups, as displacements. Yeah, any displacement. Technically, he is displacing you, but it's a different mechanic because it's just teleporting you to the other yeah, side. It's more of like so a flash not, type thing. Yeah. Vayne could do it. There you go. Okay. Well, uh, already picked up Ezreal. Scumbag impactful. He's going to be on... They got plenty of... They yep. got plenty of knockups. Oh, they denied the Shivana top. Could have been another one. Now, Shivana and Vi are still a great dive duo. Oh, yeah. Even without Sivir. Mm -hmm. It's not like, oh, you can only run all these bruiser dives with Sivir. No. They're still effective by themselves. Um, going into Ezreal, though, he's very slippery. Hard he to is. keep track of. So, I think that Complexity are pretty happy with how this champ select is going so far. Really, their worry right now, if I was them, would be the um, LeBlanc Yasuo matchup because Yasuo has to use his win wall very well mm -hmm. um, to interrupt the combo. Yeah. If Zamfira is waiting for this, you know, he can just W across the win wall. And then. Yes, he can. And then all of his Stuff ranged like abilities are just going to land. So. That's true. Um, it still does. It d takes some work from Yasuo, even though he has the potential. <laughs> to be he able does. to uh, outplay LeBlanc. It is going to be difficult, especially if there's a level 6 buy coming through. Let's see what they go for with this one. I want to see if it's really Lee Um I actually kind of like Cognitive's lineup in just terms of thinking about fighting Yasuo, mm -hmm. because they're a bunch of like really beefy people, or way, or people that can get away from the general knockups. Uh, and just like, imagine the headbutting him away after he goes for his initiations. It's going to be hard. So it's going to be Malphite for the top lane here. So. 
Uh, ah, a lot of knockup synergy. Go. Yeah. I I guess they're going to um, swap it again. There we go. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, because we, we built up so much. You know, Jezzy, he, he's got this weird top lane champion pool where he mm -hmm. likes to play Malphite a lot. And he plays and Rumble. Rumble and Shen, where a lot of people don't play him. But... Um, Bring them all out. on that was, uh, was giving me a second thought. But now, we finally do get to see it. This time yeah. around. And again, the teleport. So, we'll have to see if he is more effective on the teleport. Because if you're late with a Malphite teleport, then yeah. that's even more disastrous than Rumble. Because Malphite, you want him there at the beginning mm -hmm. to stick on that AD carry, get the CC, and also slower attack speed at the beginning of the fight, before your team's taking all this damage. If you're teleporting in four seconds after it's happened, mm -hmm. then it's going to be everything's going to go sour real quick. It's true, and he's he's their best form of engage, the longest ranged, yeah. like, most reliable so I, form of like engage. you'd like him to be there on time. Yes, you he would. got to be prompt. We'll see if he can do it. Of course, Wukong can do something. Punctuality is something I value highly in my top laners, Freak. All right, well, he's off top lane farming for a while. You'll see him in, like, 20 minutes. As long as he gets there right on the dot. If he says there in 20 minutes... And he better be there when he says he's going to be there. He'll just keep track, start a stopwatch, and be like, you were 4.3 seconds late, you're fired. I'm interested to see the matchup, too, as far as mm. the laning phase where Malphite goes. It's true. Because he's not someone who's going to kill you in lane before 6. He's going to be just trying to farm. He's going to be trying to use his passive in the trade, yeah. and then retreat and play passive. I feel uh, like it's going to be hard to fight Shivana. Ha, ha, ha. Just I missed it. That's okay. What was it? No, tell it me. It was dumb. I didn't even do tell it on me. purpose. I just said passive twice. It wasn't even a thing. Oh, <laughs> I got it. Dumb. Yeah, that doesn't... That, I mean, it counts, but you're right. You're dumb. Yeah, thanks. You're welcome. Uh, one, two, three. Oh, well, we only have three Doran shields on their team. Ezreal going, of course, with his Doran's blade. Meanwhile, um, LeBlanc is going with the Doran's ring. And again, utility as far as the biscuits are concerned. So... Okay. You do get two health potions with your ring. Which is True. One more than you get with all he your. He has no potions. He has biscuits. All the rest of your Doran's items. Semantics. Already free, trying to get in cheap shots. Speaking of cheap shots, Ezreal and Caitlyn about to trade some keys. Well, we saw this before, and they got a health potion out of it. I'd, I'd say all bets are off now. It's not even BM anymore. If you can get a health potion before the lane phase. Go ahead and try for it. I feel like that was a misclick or like him not buying it. I didn't see it People get used. I just saw it not there. Could it just be reaction. Um, I took damage, quick. Yeah, exactly. Because that's a good reaction to have normally. Normally. In a fight, like, as soon as you start taking damage, chug your health potion. That's great. It could be the difference between life and death if it's yeah. a close team fight. And However, mm -hmm. minions have not spawned. Yeah, yeah. You don't really want to do that early. Yeah. And the thing with biscuits is it's an extra 20 health on the top, too. You can chug a second one, another 20 HP. Okay, trickets go down. Minute 30 in. People pinging. That's fine. Well, it's a little annoying, but... I mean, it's fine. It's fine. I'll sure my headphones down. <laughs> what? Hey, Freak. Hi. I'm back. We're about to start the landing phase. Okay. For game three of yes. Cognitive versus Complexity Red. Okay. This is winner take all. Kind of. Well, winner take you, third place. I mean, you still get... Yeah, you still get a fourth place prize. <laughs> winner take... Third place. Winner take third place. Not bad. Good place to be. Winner does not take all. But they do not have to play back through the challenger bracket. Yeah. Uh, the challenger, what do we call it, ladder? There we mm -hmm. go. And, and that's actually a lot of work, as we said yesterday on the European version. It's true. It's basically, if you win this, then you get to like, be a little bit more lazy. <laughs> they'll, they'll spend their time practicing. They won't actually be lazy. I, I, I'm, I mean, you just told me they're going to be lazy. I don't know what to say anymore. I, I trusted you, Kobe. Well, it looks like we have uh, Standard going up here top. Um, Malphite has been able to bully Shivana. Standard. Yeah. More than I expected, though. No, his shield is gone now, though. Uh-oh. So, as Shivana, he's going to want to try and at least tag Malphite once every few seconds so that his shield doesn't regenerate. Use the Flame Breath. Yeah. Range, free. boom! Nope. Just keep Shields spamming up. it. Uh, too late then. Didn't do anything. Trying to trying to farm with it instead, probably. Oh. Guess gold is more important than that early harass. Um, if I really, really want to click on that mouth and see what his runes are. Uh, I'm guessing nine oh twenty one. How much? Magic? Oh, sorry, nine twenty one zero. Specifically, how much magic resistance? Okay, Vi is coming in for the first gank though. Wukong busy farming, and the vault breaker Good does wall. land, so he got uh, at least the denting blows proc there. Meh. Not that important. Use the shield, charging it back up. Have the knockup available as well. 
Yeah. 57 MR, 51 MR for Jezzy, so pretty much MR okay. blues and uh, standard defense masteries. Yeah. I actually guess 426 would be my guess, actually. Now, he, he is extended in the lane because of the early shoving that he did. So, uh, if it wasn't for seeing Vi middle right now, he'd probably be placing that trinket ward. The reason he's not placing it is because after the gank mid, mm -hmm. he saw Vi exit towards the bottom side yeah. jungle. So, she would have to loop all the way around. You really want to keep tabs on the way that the jungler exits the lane. And on the flip side, as a jungler, you're always paying attention to what vision you're giving your enemy. Because you can bait them by faking the exit from the lane to one side and mm -hmm. circling back around. Oh, let's see what Jesse goes for in the near future. Last thing under turret for now. Pretty Rough, pretty as, well. as he has no mana, but level up will give him a little bit. He can punch him with his rock hands, though. That'll be good. It's more of a, a pat on the back or a slap. Really? Because there's the wind wall you talked about. Zamfira jumped over, landed the Q after landing, basically. Then jumped back. Golden Blue got silence. Oh, he's looking for it. A little damage. Has a knockup available. Does not get away from the root, though. Zamfira getting more damage here. Sigil of silence on him. Doesn't yeah. mean much. What we'll be seeing in this matchup is anytime he charges up the full flow meter, then he'll look for the aggressive maneuver, which on uh, Yasuo is to charge up your dashes. If you can charge it up even a couple times, uh, so you can increase your damage just on a couple different targets, and then leave the backline minions mm -hmm. without having charged through them for an escape. Because every time you charge through, you're not going to be able to return to that target. So you want to use two ranged minions, one to go in, and then you want to leave one untargeted so that you can use it to get back out. See if we can do it here. Bottom lane, we haven't looked at that one for a little bit. Ziplock going to walk through a ward. Jesse knows he might now not care. He might have to care soon. Flashes. Good flash. Yeah, ignites on him, but he doesn't care. Ziploc low, and Richie Rich can't follow up. Nice. Yeah, good play there from Jesse. He's able to get uh, a lot of harass down. But his wave is shoved in regardless, so he's going to be losing some. Will he burn his teleport just to get back quick? I think so. Probably just buy really fast and try not to lose out on too many more minions. Come on, do it. Much oh, he's buying slow. His mind's kind of slow. Oh, he wants his mana. Okay, he wouldn't TP. Uh, he, he bought slow, and the minion wave's already dead. So there's no point in it now. No point in it now. Got you. So to walk his in it. rock legs back. And they will still retain the potential for teleporting down bottom, which is pretty much the only lane he would teleport it in. I don't think he would ever teleport mid because LeBlanc, very slippery champion, and mid a very short lane. And four seconds of warning is kind of a lot of warning. Yeah. NK Inc. looking a little bit aggressive, puts a ward down uh, in the front of the enemy jungle. It's pinged out. They see it go down. So Cognitive are aware of that vision. Hopefully yeah. they can play around it properly. Uh, nothing here, and uh, Zane King still pushing the bottom lane. They've got a 10, or 9 specifically, minion lead. Um, and they're just putting pressure on that turret for now. No one's missing minions, but the Caitlyn lane once again winning early. We'll see if that means much later on. Yeah, big surprise, Caitlyn. Strong later. Out ahead in CS. Now, those double wards at mid, obviously, Complexity are most worried about the level 6 buy gank at mid. So they're prepping it with vision on both sides. And you can see they've put their vision far enough away that it gives Golden Glue plenty of time to back off if he sees buy coming from either side. Mm -hmm. So they're definitely expecting the attention mid. Um, and I want to see if Wukong actually, when they see Vi, if he goes for a counter gank, or if they just tell Golden Blue to back off and say, hey, I'm not going to come. Every time you see Vi, you just have to back off and lose minions. Because that's okay. definitely a trade-off. Yeah. Either Wukong's going to be getting extra money by farming jungle, or he's going to be counter ganking and giving Golden Blue the opportunity to keep farming his lane. We'll see what they do with this one, because right now the top lane is really... Very overextended right now. It's Richie yeah. Rich killing the minion waves behind the turret, <coughs> forcing Jezzy to survive under his turret and fight them for last hits. But it and gives Richie Rich time to kill golems or roam around the map. Did that ward just time out? Because it's going to be a two versus two mid. Whether they saw it or not. There we go, the jump in. Gold Blue not in a good spot. Trying to jump away, gets a bit of a knockup. But that's going to be actually Ziplock making that one happen. NK Inc. forced to flash away. One for zero. As we usually say, one who gets the first step in those uh, duels mid is going to come out ahead, especially when it's a CC-heavy duo like Vi and LeBlanc. The silence is into the vault breakers, into the assault uh -oh. batteries, and he wants more. 
All right, it's a Cyclone used to get him away. I don't know if he needed it. Assault and Battery was down, but at the same time, Richie Rich, with his aggressive minion pushing, got to steal away the red buff by himself. So a lot now missing from Complexity. Yeah, they got a lot out of the, uh, the first step there on the mid lane because he went for the gank. Able to turn it into jungle invade, both harass and red buff steal. This is going to be really big for them. Shivana had already pre-warded that red side jungle too. Such as making you know, those deep trips in. There's only one ward left in there, but it's a really good one. So if you want one ward in the jungle over there, Great Wall is a very good place to place one. Yeah. See if she actually goes in again to uh, complement that ward with another higher one. As we saw her place before. Or if she just decides to leave it as is. We'll see what they go with this one. So blue buff. Goes to Zamfira. That lane's still looking happy, I believe. NK Inc. just got his own, his own blue. I'm not going to give that one to Golden Blue. Uh, Jungler's both level 7. Top lane, I gotta say, probably the grimmest looking lane right now. 79 to 58 minions, so 20 minion difference plus the red buff steal puts Richie Rich very far ahead. Yeah. Now, to be fair, he was very far ahead last game, and it still went well for Complexity Red. So I'm curious to see if uh, Richie Rich can really use that gold this time around and what Jezzy can do from the deficit. Yeah, Jezzy's got to come up with some sort of big play here because he's he's on Malphite and he's got Teleport. So, yes, it's understandable that he's losing his lane to Siobhan. And it's understandable that he's getting shoved in. And they made that choice willingly. So what is it that they're going to get out of this in, you know, what's going to be the compensation here? Hey, especially NK Inc's going to be shouting from the jungle. Okay, you know, your lane's going to lose and Siobhan is going to invade my jungle and this is going to make life hard. But we are going to have a global Malphite here. we mm -hmm. we got to make a play. And it, it just has not been here for them. Yeah. He's actually even walked all the way mid. Just wasted that entire last, yep. like, 20 seconds. He sacrificed a full wave and the turret to make that happen. He's now waiting in the brush. But there's no one to coordinate with. So he's kind of yeah. just chilling. And that ball, that top lane is getting worse and worse. Good win while they're right, Golden Blue. So Chopped that chain the up. Damage. Yeah. So the second proc of the chain won't be able to go off because... Gets cut in half. And you make his chain out of stronger material. Yeah. Wind gets rid of it. <laughs> so flimsy. Garbage. Yep. Should try harder. Look at the dragon, though. They're already starting it off off screen. Little little, little action going on, though. Ziploc getting very low with it. Jesse's there. The rest of the team grouping up. Impactful far away, actually. Oh, he's cornered. Here they go in. Gonna get smited away. Inkhead gets it. Ziploc goes down. One for zero so far. Polona Zamfira support daddy in the back line. Good box, then Fira forced away, picked up by NK Inc. Two for zero so far. Dragon as well, Golden Blue still fighting. Does that a Richie Rich, the Fed, Shivana, what can she do? Looks for NK Inc. still burning out. Nice pull by Zane King picks that one up. Jesse uh -oh. in the fight with Impactful. Richie Rich, what do you have? Good knockback there. Flash over the wall, Impactful still trying to fight Support Daddy around the wall as well. The jump over by Impactful, the Kate ult picks up one, but Ez gonna fire one back there, making it a three for three fight. But Dragon did go to Complexity Red yeah. thanks to NK Ink Smite Steel. NK Ink is really, really strong as far as smiting goes. And he was able to get in there with the E from Wukong. So that's extra damage at the same time he can combo with his smite. Very well done. It also enabled them to get that combo of Wukong Cyclone into the last breath there from Yasuo. Fairly effective. Ch chunking down Samphira early. And it helped a lot. Oh, wow. Smited early. Yeah, so that was a pretty early smite there. Uh, but yeah, anyways, they got this cy Cyclone knockup, which meant LeBlanc had to use W and R, the Mimic W as well, to try and escape. As I said, whenever LeBlanc is having to use her cooldowns defensively, it's such a huge difference from being able to use them to start off the fight. And again, He's had to run away, but Ziploc finishes the job. Counter hit comes in. Golden Glue not able to use his ulti for that one because there's no knockout for for NK Inc. One for zero in the mid lane. And we look now at a 2,500 gold lead for Cognitive. They're up two turrets to zero. They got the bottom lane turret during that replay. Now, also after that, the static shiv was purchased, so that's a huge increase in power for Golden Glue, yet they just annihilated him. Took yeah. him right back off the map, so he doesn't get to use it. Uh, for a good another 30 seconds, and it was a really quickly pulled off counter gank. As you said, later in the game, Yasuo really relies on other people to charge up his uh, knockups for him because it's very hard for him to do it himself. He has to use three Steel Tempest activations 
and those things do fall off. You can't just walk around with them. So coming in for a gank like this! Ooh, wow, miscommunication! In. Pretty he used early it there. Early. Okay, Dragon Form used. Jesse, no mana. Can't pull his friend in. Oh, man. And this is uh, 4.1, you know, 1,600 range on that Yasuo yeah. ult. Plenty far. They haven't reduced it. So, yeah, definitely miscommunication there. Rough stuff. We'll see what else they can pick up, though, as time goes on. And Kink did hold the mid lane, so no minions lost there. He's 1-1-1. One, one, one. Did go Golem Spirit on uh, Wukong, of all things. We yeah. normally see Lizard, but he wants to be a tank this time. So health is also really great for Wukong. I mean, he's, Wukong True. just scales in both ways extremely well. Either attack damage or health, because his passive, if you're going with health, and then uh, the ultimate, of course, if you're going for attack damage. Mm -hmm. And him wanting to survive the burst that could come out from sure. Viola LeBlanc. And uh, it's a very viable choice. Just because Lizard is so popular doesn't mean it's the only route to go. It also provides him tenacity going with the Golem. Yeah. So that makes me question the damage, though, that Complexity Red has. Ezreal, one of the lower damage AD carries. Mm -hmm. And you've got Tank Wukong. You've got Malphite, who's not known for his damage. So it's a lot on Golden Glue, who's 1 and 3 so far. I mean, they're they're definitely down right now and it's it's because the Malphite in the top lane has sort of been bleeding uh -oh. um, uh. presence everywhere else. NK goes pretty deep. All right. So anyway, yeah, back to your point about the damage. Exactly. They they don't have uh, a lot of it. Mm -hmm. Basically is yeah, is what we're saying. There we go. Uh, Malphite, by the way, uh, rushing in the Sunfire Cape. Uh, spell spell penetration is actually going to help out a lot for him too. So um, I have to be looking to see if he does, you know, even go Sork Boots because that will help with his burst. It will help with the damage over time with Sunfire Cape, and could you know add as long as they add different little pieces of damage from different sources, mm -hmm. and they'll be okay because it's not like there's. Um, any super tanky member of Cognitive, Shivana has rest of Blade of the Rune King. So, yeah. you know, even if they don't have a tremendous amount of damage, they can uh, still take out many of these members. Not, yeah. not anyone's tanky really set by. Okay, well, let's see what they can do with this one. Golden Blue looking forward. Knockup's available for him. Doesn't go for it yet. Jesse, want to point out, had to sell his Doran's shield. He was so low on cash, one of the Sunfire actually sold his Doran's item. Um, but does have the Sunfire done. We'll see how that pans out for him. 0, 1, and 3 for having a rough landing phase. He's shown up in team fights pretty well. Richie Rich gets the push going. Jesse shows up. Has a level deficit, though, against Shivana. Shifted to clear mini waves. Okay, though, with Sunfire and the ground slam. Misses some to the turret. Magma. He's melting right through that rock. Yep. He's glowing. Liquid hot. Very on fire. Now Very fitting for Sunfire Zen Cave. Vera has a sweeper. Oh. And Golden Glue takes a oh bunch of damage. God. And goes away. So I always like to uh, get sweepers, but man, we've got more attack. Impactful attack click. Damage. Chant, click the lantern. The cow's too fat. He's so fat. Down he goes. He's so fat. Okay. Support so, that he should have walked forward and flayed. Uh, still possible to do the body block. I yep. talked about that. Uh, they're trying to get rid of that, but uh, cow, extremely large, especially with that skin, doing a great job. <laughs> Ooh, the, the hook on his Double Zephyr. chain. I don't think into they want the it. Hook. They don't want it. The knock up. Support daddy. Trying to run away. NK Inc. in the middle of five. He Here wants comes it. Shivana. Uh, oh, can he get two? Ignite gets one. The chase gets He's got two. He's almost rich. two. He almost two. Richie Rich trying a little hard for that one. Ooh. Did NK. force NK Inc.'s flash. NK with the walk away. Not even close. look easy. Now, LeBlanc, I really like the Zamfire move, by the way, with the sweeper. Anytime you have an assassin mid, it's going to be roaming like oh, that. Oh, oh my god. Knockup chain. Nothing here. Goodbye, but now it's a two versus three. Ziplock there. Windwall comes out. Golden Blue's Dash trying. Number one. Flash the oh, way. Exhaust. Kill toast. picked up. Jesse, what you got? Do you have the damages? Low on mana. It's enough for a spell. <laughs> I like how he was sitting at the LeBlanc W. Just, you know, maybe he'll come oh, back. Slow on a Zane King. This could be enough. He's on him, fire. Burn him down. Sunfire deeps. He's Sunfire got the deeps. deeps. He's got the deeps. NK Inc. picks it up. Two for right. two, but Dragon did not go down, by the way. So they two for two. Uh, no, two for one. Two for one. Yeah. Turret plus Dragon. That's a huge gold swing here for Complexity Red. Nice. They're getting right back in this one. The teleport from Jezzy. We said he needed him to make a play. That right there yeah. was a huge play. Combo with uh, Golden Glue right there. 
Pretty big swing, getting them right back in this. And I gotta point out how cool that TP was. So 190 per person. So 975 for the uh, dragon overall. Um, how cool that teleport was, because you have to put it on a ward and perfectly time the four second lead time. He teleported basically on top of Caitlyn. That's pretty freaking cool. Just be like, by the way, he kills him. Yeah, it was beautiful. Beautiful to watch, Freak. Yeah, it's beautiful now, rock. Blade of the Ruined King, Shivana. Whereas it's a static Shiv, Pickaxe, Yasuo. I think we just learned how that will go. Golden Blue is scared. He decides to back off. You know, all he had to burn was his flow, though. Not a big deal. He didn't scratch Shivana, so she didn't have to burn anything. No. She well, she burn burned out. the minions. She burned out. She did? That's normal. Looks like uh, the collapse in red side is going to be a little bit too much for Cognitive. They should probably give up that ward battle, uh, seeing as how LeBlanc very far away from the team fight. Jesse's got ulti in like three seconds. LeBlanc, or, uh, Wukong is level 11 now, so pretty huge power boost with Malphite, Wukong, and Yasuo all level 11. That's huge for this team because they rely so heavily on their ultis comboing. Right now, they would actually take this team fight. LeBlanc again, she's very far down bottom, but Jezzy seems like he's the only one on the team calling for this. Really Yasuo working him. on the red buff. That was an opportunity for a 4 versus 5, and true. they had a Malphite ultimate. They could have easily caught someone. So that, I don't know, that red buff may be, may be worth it. But, well, mid lane editor turret under, under siege. But there's a gigantic wave bottom lane. They're going to go in. They Got find him. nothing here. The knockup combo comes back in, but they have enough Wukong ult. What in the right world? There. One for zero, two for zero so far. Golden Blue is going to go down. Rich and Rich getting chased. Ruin King keeps him alive. And, and they leave Jesse by himself oh. now. Uh oh. Uh oh. There's a Zamfira. He misses the chain, though. That would have. Tank Wukong, baby. He's still Ooh. alive. He went full tank. Oh my goodness, and now they're on the chase again. That was a ridiculous dive. Wow. Some monkey pinball action going on there. Where NK popped his Cyclone and he just got knocked around by Zan King. Good enough. 4, but 1, and 2. NK Inc's got enough damage, it seems. My goodness. They, uh, they were able to get out of it and no objective because it was such a long fight. Yeah. So drawn out. And Zamfira does end up coming from the bottom. My goodness. All right, let's take a look at it again. Here so goes the here combo, goes down. and in comes Wukong, Monkey Pinball, boom, back towards the other turret, still gets the kill. And this is the interesting part, after they finish here, and you know, Shivana's running away, everybody leaves, Jezzy was the only member to decide to try to go back up through the turret. And they had to come get him, which left NK alone by uh, Zamfira, mm -hmm. and the only reason he survived is because he did go with the uh, tanky build here instead. Wise choice in the end. So, back to the mid lane we go. Uh, there was a big minion wave that died to that tier 2 bottom lane turret um, that Zamfira was pushing, so that all went to nothing. But the mid lane regrouped here. Both teams ready for us, and no push really comes in for complexity. Did go? 3 6 and 3. Golden Blue starting to get a better score. Here? No, nope. sorry. No, it didn't uh, go to nothing here. Uh, Deathfire is completed as well. Oh, and really? A pink ward on top of his sweeper. So he's looking for those plays once again. He had a spectacular catch on Golden Blue before. And he still wants to keep setting those up. Oh, he got Wukong this time. Too much health on that guy. You can tell by the still bars right. on the side. Yeah, a little way. bit low, but still green. It's not it's not clear, so he's alive. Uh, I gotta point out four sweepers now here for complexity, actually. They've really oh. embraced their team name and said, let's go for the red trinkets. Uh, that's really we gotta match. We gotta make sure that goes well. And they're doing it. Style is important. It is. It's like half the score actually. Legends. Like, hitting a wall and dying after you jump is, is bad, uh -huh. but color coordinating... So that's your other half, is uh, color coordinating. team uniforms? Yeah. Uh, I'm really big kind of blue Ezreal, because... That would not work with their team, though. They're red. Complexity red. I'm just saying in general. As long as your outfit matches, that's also some points. It's, it's bonus points if you match your team. As long as your outfit itself matches, that's a point. Well, let's go over the strategy that's taking place here, because it was a 1-3-1 one, one split from COG. Mm-hmm. It seems like Zamfira really loves getting that side lane farm, but they finally called him up because they remember what happened last time he was side lane pushing. So it's going to be the 4 on 4 standard mid while Jezzy still trying to just fend off Richie Rich. He's, he's getting some damage. He's holding onto the turret, but it's slowly going down. Yeah, it is. And I got to point out, Jezzy's going towards a Ooh, wit's end and he's teleporting for the, the mid teleport. lane here. Can they catch nothing here? No. 
No, good, they can't. Good call. It was yeah. a really good call from Richie Rich. Yeah. He didn't even try and interrupt it. He just called it to the team. And he had faith that they would back up in time. That's the kind of time you want home guards when you teleport. Oh, oh he got, got him! The flash ult, he doesn't hear in a bad spot. That's going to be one going down. The engage comes back in. Jesse knocked around. It's going to be the Wukong ulti coming back. One for one so far. They find Samphira. Ziploc comes to try to help, and the damage is still coming across. Top lane turret did go down. They're still fighting the four versus three. Chain goes to NK Inc. Top lane outer, or mid lane outer turret goes down. Just the one for one trade. Well, they find anything they else. They used two initiation flashes, oh. and they just traded one for one while they're top buying time is for going down. And they're still going in. Zane King low on health to re-engage. NK looking for something, can't find it. Landry comes across, the kill comes back. Oh Zamfira God. gets it, but trades there to impact. Trades perfect. All they're trying to do is buy time. Richie Rich looking to get some more cash money by taking the turret down. Looks like it's going to be Golden Glue respawning to react to this one. But remember, uh, that turret does die first, and he doesn't want any of this. He got one charge on his Steel Tempest. He got two. Nope. Never mind. Yep. Now it is. He's still chasing, and he's got a minion wave. Lantern Look. pulls back impactful. Tier Rich. two turret goes down, but remember the inhibitor turret had died, so better turret kills basically happened there for Cog, despite even champion trades. Dragon's up right now. Richie Rich running into Golden Blue again. Oh, this is a, wow! Look at the damage up that Richie Rich has. Golden Blue, not a happy place. Not a happy place at all. Oh. And now Jesse also not happy. Zane King in the front lines does not have ulti. He says, "Don't want to stay because Admiral Ziploc is coming." to command the troops. That's going to be a dragon going fleet. over. Fleet, you're right, the fleet. I don't know, you can still call them troops. Yeah, there's, Actually, there's, there's troops like there are in Navy the fleet. Troops. Yeah. Now after the dragon, uh, they get, wow, oh yeah, Golden Blue's still dead from the Shivana, so they do have the slight men advantage. They're taking blue right now. Uh, they haven't actually swept out the red, so they don't know that it's up. But that would definitely be the next rotation for them, because Dragon, uh, Shivana up there, is constantly going to be pushing pressure. Well, they got a knock up on Alistair. Doesn't mean a whole lot, though. Oh, Let's they got the nothing here. Do they have enough? Yes, they do. There it is. Look at the burst support. Daddy picked up nothing here. The battle has begun. NK double rooted up. The chase now continues. Zemfira has to dash away. Knock up there onto Admiral Ziploc. He is going to die. That makes it a two for zero. Reach reach to the top lane. He's going to get an inhibitor. Someone has to stop him. They're making the call for Baron already with just the two down. There's no smite that will be a problem. So yep. they can actually get this one. Their inhibitor's already down. I like the call. All right. Well, Malphite was set back to defend, but he interrupts the recall because he needs to be there with the team. We've got Zemfira on one side. Richie Rich on the other. Shivana has stop? all. Shivana can drag his descent in. Well, they're going to pull in. There she goes into the fight. They're not going to go for Baron right now. It's going to be Richie Rich taking some damage. Zamfira does go down. Richie Rich buying time for the team. Box comes down. Richie Rich is going to fall double kill, and that is an uncontestable Chase Baron lives. now picked up. Oh, man. Complexity Red just pulled that close. Yeah. The Malphite ulti coming into play. That thing yep. is huge all game long. He's got a wit's end. Yeah. That's ridiculous. Yep. Um, oh, 01 and 12. I, I did call out spell penetration early, though. It is. Uh, he can reduce magic resistance. Yep. Steal that stuff away. No one else on the team has magic damage in any meaningful way. So, doing Doesn't it for matter. himself. Static ship, I guess. 100% crit yeah. chance. Now, if Finidage is done, Golden Blue will always do 200 and... I forgot the number. Five? Two po he'll do 10% less. So 225. 225 lightning every time that it procs. It'll do something. Probably not going to matter, but it's there. Well, he's also got Baron buff, so this uh, complexity oh, team is damage. feeling a lot better about their situation. Yeah. The hard engage really paid off for them. And one inhibitor down doesn't even hurt the team at this point. Since no. it's even and since Baron's off the map, that actually could be a bonus for your team mm -hmm. because your minion wave is always going to be pushed and you could continually farm it. Oh, oh, the dive goes in on a golden glue. He's not going to like his life very much. Can he stay alive? Goes in for the fight. Can he get a wind wall down in time? Doesn't even try. Going to stay in the battle. They're trading one for one. Mid laners are dead. Nothing here. Has nowhere to go. Tries to stay alive with the barrier. Stays alive a bit longer, but finally drops down. Two for one so far. Ziploc in the back line goes down. More kills going the way of complexity. And they now chase down towards the mid lane. I have to say, NK Inc.'s decision to go full tank Wukong has really paid off. In, yeah. the, in the last fight that was just before this, both LeBlanc's chains were used on him. And it, the taking all of her spells is huge for the team. She's just trying to zone him away and keep him CC'd so he can't knock people up. But because he's full tank, you know, nobody really gets low from the LeBlanc combo that's usually a big part of this COG team. 
and they don't have a lot of the extra damage here. Complexity Red able to answer inhibitor. Very nicely done now. And they've Gold got lead. a giant pot of money that's been working itself up for them in the top lane because that minion wave that we talked yep. about, it pushes on in. Perfect timing for them. They've got mm -hmm. Golden Glue over there to just farm it up. And he's only within 13... 100 gold of Guardian Angel coming through. He's been the guy to die first. Nine of his team's uh, 14 deaths, by the way, on Yasuo. GA is going to make that uh, not as important. Plus, then, if he can get Lifesteal after that, mm -hmm. it's uh, it's actually really hard to take him down since end game he stacks flows so fast. And it's a large shield mm -hmm. that just through dashes and just through activating his ulti, a couple of those shield activations is pretty much all it takes to buy time for him to get his auto attacks off. That will be a large chunk of life steal since he can True. crit with every single one. He can do a whole bunch of the damage. Oh. Super Minion's going to stop spawning soon. This is one of the last few waves to come through here. Kills that off with a uh, pretty good amount of ease. I wonder though if Rich Rich can win this fight this Ooh, time. He's got his knockup prepped, so this is a good situation for Golden Blade. Oh, he missed it. it. Uh, you should always. I feel like you should always EQ for the knockup because you can't juke it. Mm, yeah. In most situations. Making it uh, you AOE. Can. Yeah. But it's fairly easy to land at that point. Well, not gonna go for it. Just gonna kill the minions away oh. in the top lane. Looks like Richie Rich not wanting to fight. Doesn't have the ward coverage to watch for ganks because here comes NK Inc and yeah. Impactful. I think that was a good call by his team. Yeah. Off. Yeah, absolutely. This turret likely to fall. Not many minions there, but they don't really care. The attacks be coming in from Ezreal as well. Gotta be helping him out a bit. And they're going to keep going top lane. Yeah, they, there's no reason not to. Um, they've got a teleport Malphite, so theoretically they could have him split push. But as I said before, they need him to start everything off. He's sort of the playmaker for the team. Even NK, there's ways that Cognitive can stop his engage. Malphite, though, there's no stop in that. That's a guaranteed knockup onto the yep. target they want, which will mean Golden Glue can probably assassinate nothing here. Well, they're going to go for it. They find well, it on Zephyra, and instead. he is gone. The engage continues now in the back lines. The front lines even. Zane King low. The push onto Support Daddy. The turret hitting him. Richie Rich solos out. Impactful Support Daddy not in a good spot. He'll be going down shortly as a double kill for Richie Rich. But the other side of the map is so good for Golden Glue and Co. Admiral Ziploc trying to run away. He's not going to be able to. It's going to be a two for four. And there's minions on the front line already. Richie Rich is alone defending the base in complexity. Red could make this a massive comeback. Richie Rich tries. He flashes. He is burning out. He's trying to get away. Golden Glue's going to stop the chase and kill away some minions. Turn number two going it. down. Ten seconds on LeBlanc. They should be able to finish this one. It's the combo. Let's see if it they can. Out. Blow shield pop. Nexus going lower and lower. Can they make the rest of this happen? Minions going down, still hitting it. Oh, they got Zamfira finds one. And K Ink knocked around. The knock up there coming oh. from Alistair. Do they have the damage? It's so close. And K Ink exhausted. 300 oh health. <laughs> oh my god, they take him down. The minions not doing enough damage. And that's why I never say GG when that kind of stuff happens. Still in the game. Take a breath, everybody. <gasps> still in the game. Now. Yeah. Take stock of the situation here. Uh, they're only 4k down here for Cognitive. And they only have one inhibitor down, so it's not that bad. Now, mention that 10 seconds on LeBlanc. Does she come out with home guards? Because, man, she got there fast. All right. Richie Rich does his best. Yes, she does home guard into a W, into the R. Chain doesn't hit, but the flash pull buys some time. And he also is going to exhaust Wukong for the last hit here. Exhaust. Pay it off in the Nexus defense game. Yep. Woo. That's why you bring exhaust. Yeah, that's sometimes why. You gotta that's save why. The Nexus. <laughs> sometimes an AD carry, sometimes the Nexus. Doesn't matter. Made oh it happen. Oh my God! And Woo. because the game is so close, it's not even like they're still in a in a you know a direless situation here. They've got yeah. the potential to defend. Oh yeah, and him's back up. It's exactly. not even gonna get backdoored. Um, the thing is, this combo is still gonna be used over and over and over yeah. by Complexity Red. Mm -hmm. You know what they're going for. It's either of the two damage targets. If they can get Zamfira, they're happy to go for Zamfira. If they can get nothing here, then yeah. that's fine with them as well. Yeah. Interesting thought. Jesse's oh, goal is they're not counter-engaging, though. Okay, they go in. They find Impactful. Windwall comes down. What's it going to do? That's oh, we got both of them! Knock-up. Not good. Zamfira gets out, but it's not going to be the case for nothing All here. Right. Zane King Chase, two for zero. Rich Rich in the back lines. Can he kill Impactful? Good hook. Jump in. Richie Rich. 
goes down. Three for zero. Zamfira low on health. Inhibitor goes down. This could very much be the game. Complexity red. Right. Half HP Nexus. Second time's the charm here. Maybe. They're trying. <laughs> yeah, okay. That's Just because it happened once. Does it make there you it go. gonna go again? There you go, Complexity Red with Man. gigantic comebacks. <laughs> Woo. The two games they won were comebacks in themselves. The series was a comeback. They went down 0-1. They were the 15 seed coming in from the rank fives ladder, took down the number one seed in the tournament, 2-0. Come back and won this series. These guys will not say die. Cinderella story. Yep. Man, who would have thought Cinderella was a Malphite plus Yasuo combo to the face. <sighs> Painful. Man, thought they were going to go for either of those uh, damage dealers. They got both in the yeah. last fight. That's brutal. There's no coming back from that. Even though the engage onto Ezreal almost worked out. I mean, mm -hmm. Vi was this close to landing the Vault Breaker. Yeah. And if that had actually hit and he didn't have to go right into the Solid Battery, uh, probably wouldn't have been dead Ezreal because he only survived with 100 HP. But, I mean, ooh, the combo. Yep. If you put your faith in the Wombo combo, and they wombo it. sometimes it pays off because... Yeah. All you have to do is hit both the damage dealers with yeah. it, and they're gone. It worked out. And, I mean, how scary was that, though? The entire game, back and forth, crazy fights. Richie Rich almost carried it from the top lane. He was a beast. Say. Had some great scores. Pretty freaking strong player. Yeah. Couldn't pull it out for his team. A lot of strong points for both teams, yeah. I have to say. Uh, Zampir was making a lot of plays himself on the LeBlanc. Uh, mm -hmm. Some pretty good roaming. Uh, good vision control yeah. as well. So definitely impressed with the third place game. But yeah. tomorrow, first place. First place, fam. That one's going to be fun as well. LCS, of course. We'll see what's going on with that one. Now that tonight's third place match games are in our match history, let's take a look at the updated bracket. 